This meeting is being recorded. And we're here once again, only on to After Hours, only on the After Hours YouTube channel. Joining me here on the line, this young lady here. Well, you know her from Naughty America. You've seen her on even Bang Bros. You've seen her all over the place here. She is one of the top MILF Cougar performers in the business. So a lot of people want to work with her. A lot of people love her. She has her own website. We're going to be talking about that and a whole lot more. I give you the beautiful, the gorgeous, the very intellectual. I give you it's Erica Lorena. Uh, Erica, so let's start Hi. off here with uh, how tough is it sometimes right now doing what you do because you have your own website, you shoot right. your own content, and you get to do a lot of it your own by yourself. You got to be like the camera woman, the casting director. You got to be the networker. You got to be the scheduler. Like, how much goes into like one clip on your website, your your OnlyFans, or your many vids? Oh my goodness. Well, you know, it all depends. Um, I've had a lot of help. I've had my website for years. It's Erica Lauren XXX.com. Uh, but I've had it for a lot of years and, um, I've had a lot of help with, you know, photographers helping me shoot it. So, um, and a lot of it was a an interactive scene, you know, with another person. And not just me by myself, although there is some solo things on my on my website. Um, OnlyFans, on the other hand, which I have really enjoyed being a part of, is just um, a lot. A lot of it's a lot of it's more me. I'd say my website is more, you know, like scenes with a partner, and I'd say OnlyFans really fo really focuses on me. <laughs> And so a lot of it, I, I shoot my OnlyFans, a lot of it myself. And um, I have had a blast doing that. And on top of that, I have had so many requests for, for customs uh, through my OnlyFans that very specific things that my OnlyFans members have wanted for themselves. And I've, I've really enjoyed the challenge of giving them what they ask for. Some of them are pretty, pretty creative. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I wouldn't have thought of that, but okay, let's do it. And it's, it's really been fun. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's start off here. Let's start with the customs. How tough is that sometimes when it might not be what you like, but it's what they like. So you're basically like, it's, you know, creating stuff that sometimes you got to get into like, what are some of the more weirder customs that you've been asked to do? Well, I don't think anything's I don't think anything's weird. Let me start by saying that because you know people have like different things that they enjoy. I will say there's some things that wouldn't have occurred to me personally. Um, for example, I wouldn't necessarily think to suck on my own toes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like there's just certain certain little things that are like, well, okay, you know, let's see if I can even stick my foot in my mouth. I don't know. Um, but it's it's been, you know, some things like that. Now, how how do you get into it? Well, I kind of I kind of like the challenge of it. And one of the things I love, love, love about being in the adult industry is it's it's really kind of, it really broadens my horizons because I've I've never said no to anything. Whatever you have seen me do, it's like, it was just something that, you know, if I got booked for it, it was, you know, it was just, okay, do this. And I'd be like, hmm, I've never, I've never, I've never done that. I know sometimes that people have heard it said, if you, if you don't do it in real life, don't do it on camera. I completely disagree because there's certain things you would not normally have uh, the opportunity to do. In life, for example, you know how difficult it can be to get all your friends together, like everybody's got such crazy schedules. It's like, how would you ever even set up a gangbang? How would you get that many people, <laughs> you know, in your, in your real life to be able to even do something like that? So I, I've just always kind of had a sense of humor about it and uh, just enjoyed the challenge of it. And, and I always felt like, I'm, I'm very blessed. I feel so blessed in my career, but you know, at some point, you know, I'm an actress and I, and so things get presented that maybe you haven't, you know, really done in life. So that's how I feel about it. What do you, <laughs> so what do you like that? I mean, because it's because for your many vids, you get to do what you want to do. So what do you like in terms of, you know, for clips, 
you know, having done to you, like, what are some of the things that when you're do- shooting your own stuff for many events, you want, you know, to be in a scene? Well, I can't really say that that I that I have anything, you know, in particular in mind. I'm, I'm, you know, pretty open to what whatever you whatever you've seen out there. It's like, you know, I'm pretty open to it. And um, yeah, it's just not like uh, one thing that I just want to do or always have to do or anything like that. It's like I just enjoy the challenge of whatever you know whatever comes up. Okay, it's a lot of variety, and that's really kind of fun <laughs> if that makes any sense it makes perfect sense i'm impressed by just the way you kept relevant because we've seen a lot of people who get into the industry and after a while it's like they fade out they don't do the same thing or you know they get tired out like how do you how do you do it how do you keep to the point where there's people who still you know including me find you very desirable who want to see you who want to work with you like what yeah. how, how do you do it so that you're always just fresh as they say oh well thank you for the lovely compliment i think the secret to it so because i've been in the adult industry since 2004 and i have to say that at the time i was 49 you can do the math i'm 68 right now i can't believe that but i am and i've been in the business this whole time and when i first got into it i thought oh my gosh am I like too, I'm like too old for this at that age, but I actually was in the right place at the right time because that's when MILFs were getting really popular and cougars and I was in the right place at the right time. So the formula really worked. And uh, I, I think that people have been so appreciative and so wonderful to me that how could I not just keep going all these years, you know? And now that I'm older, I also get to play the gilf, and not a lot of women, as you know, in this industry or in that age group, to be able to have those opportunities. It's really kind of a short list when you really look at it. So, you know, if you can ever do something that's kind of niche, <laughs> you know, it's like there's only so many people that are going to call, and that's a good place to be. I can't argue with that. So, I'm happy I'm still here. Yeah. They haven't kicked me to the curb or asked me to quit yet. So, <laughs> tell us that sometimes finding people who understand what you do in terms of you're constantly busy because you're doing your OnlyFans, you're doing your many bits, you have a you shoot for the company, so you're always on your phone, you're networking, you're texting, you're typing, wow. you're uploading, you're doing all this stuff. People That's always true. say, "Oh, put the phone down, have lunch, <laughs> have dinner, take the weekend off." It's like, no, I'm. I'm busy. I'm doing texting, tweeting. Yeah. I'm uploading this new video. I'm right. scheduling a shoot. I, I'm trying to get ready to squiggly live. It's not leaving. God damn it. It's not leaving here. How do you explain <laughs> to people, like friends, family, everybody, like, this is my business. And it's 24-7. And sometimes you're going to be yeah. second. And this is going to be first. Well, I think I, I'm, very, I'm very blessed. I have a lot of very, very understanding friends. Um, while that is very true, everything that, that you said, I've, I've made an effort when I'm, when I'm actually with other people to not, you know, I mean, things do come up granted, that's true, but to try and put the phone down, you know, just, just, just try, you're only here two or three hours. Let's just leave it alone. But you're right. It's a constant thing because, you know, there's social media and there's all the places you have your clips and your own website. And I mean, it's, it's endless. It really is. And plus, it's like a machine that eats up content so fast, you, you can't possibly shoot enough. And then to top it all off, when you have wonderful fans that ask like for custom things, you spend a lot of times like shooting that too, or um, it, it's just a constant thing. But I have to say at this point in my life, and one of the reasons why I feel very, very blessed is because I, I do have flexibility and, you know, I do have flexibility to, if I need to take some time off or do something else or whatever, I'm not punching a clock. So I kind of really, you know, make my, my own schedule. I mean, there's some things that have to get done, obviously, but when I'm doing something random, like on a Tuesday, I'm like, oh, wow, how many people are out doing this? You know, I feel, I feel very blessed. And of course I wouldn't have any of it if I didn't have 
the fans being so supportive. So that never goes away, my appreciation. So I feel like, you know, it's something I want to do for them. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you want. There's a lot of people who probably want to collaborate with you. So what do you look for? Like when you're getting, to, when people want to shoot with you and you want to shoot with people, like is it an attitude? Is it a look? Is it personality? Like what is it about? A per, what is it that you look for when you're looking for collaboration partners? Hmm. Well, I would have to say somebody I feel comfortable with, somebody that has, um, you know, a good imagination, just somebody that's easy, easy to be around. I really appreciate that. Uh, I like it when, you know, we feel like, okay, we're, we're doing this to entertain people and they love it. I, I love it when somebody has like a great attitude. I would say that that's the that's the most important thing. You know, we're making entertainment. We're having fun doing it. We're very blessed to be able to do it. And, and I just think that, you know, when you feel that camaraderie with, with another person and that cooperation, I think that that's really special. And that's, that's really what I look for. So who do you enjoy working with? Like, give me some people that you've enjoyed collaborating with or shooting with over the years because they have that creativity they have that passion they just when you're with them it's almost fun it's not work it's fun right right oh my gosh well i i would have to say i feel i feel so my experiences have been so positive and so wonderful that it would be the rare experience to say i didn't feel that way um you know there's a couple there's a couple of times and i'm not gonna name names where i'm like okay i don't want to repeat performance here <laughs> but for the most part i'd have to say most people are really really pretty amazing and there's there's some amazing directors out there too like when you're working for other companies that there are people that really know how how to make each other look good and and i appreciate that and i mean there's you know there's directors like Bree Mills and like Mike Quasar and there's like you know Jim Powers there's some people that I absolutely you know love to work with in that way and as far as like talent um gosh I mean whether they're women or men it's amazing I, I've done I've done a few scenes that I thought were going to be really physically pretty taxing and hard because a lot of people were involved and you know, it's not, it's, it's not like, hey, we're at home on the bed, you know, there's like kitchen islands, hardwood floors we're kneeling on. It's like, you know, multiple people. <laughs> and so it's like, oh my gosh, this, this could be a little tricky. But I have to say that most people are like very helpful and making sure you're comfortable and like your knees aren't killing you on the floor. And um, yeah, I'd say the majority of people in the industry, anybody that, that you've seen around for a while is really a wonderful person to work with. And I'm sure a lot of new people are too, but I'm saying the people that have been here for a while, they wouldn't still be here if they, if they didn't get along and, and, and have, you know, the right attitude and we're just a team player. And that's, that's what it's all about, really, when, when you're making content. <laughs> for you what's easier working with girls or guys because you're with a guy it's almost like he can be the dominant one he can he can be you can be more submissive with a girl though you're a tall young lady you're you know that statuesque blonde blue eyes big boobs you get to be the one who's more dominant so which do you like do you like being with girls or guys well i'll answer that's a two in a two-part two answer because for starters um the dominance thing I've, I've worked with, I've worked with men where I was the dominant person because I'm the older person and he's the young cub <laughs> where I've had to do that. And I've also worked with women where they were even younger and had to be like very aggressive to an older woman, you know, like they, like, like I'm resisting it because I've got the supposedly the good sense to not be having sex with a, with a, with a young, like my friend's daughter or something. So, so it goes either way, you know, whether you're, you just have to take, like, if you have a director, unless you're creating your own content, then of course, you know, you've agreed on what you're going to do. But if you, if you have a director telling you, okay, you're like resisting. And then this, this person is more dominant, 
you kind of just have to put that in your head, which is why like some scenes it it looks like oh gosh, I'm like I'm like you can be like oh a little a little scared, a little like resisting it before you get into it. And then other times it's obvious you're the one who's like pouncing. So it can go either way with male or female. As far as who do I prefer to work with, um, I, it's hard It's hard to pick because of, of course I love men. Oh my gosh, I love men, lucky me. Um, but, you know, women, um, women are beautiful and women are sweet. And I think women know other women's bodies very well. And I think that there's kind of a, sisterhood kind of thing there like hey we can you know do this and, and make it great and all of that and just have a lovely time and um you know it's it's not as messy <laughs> when you're with a girl so how, does some, how should somebody act around you when they're on set because we've had a lot of performers who say this is how you behave this is what you should do with do's and don'ts for you and you're getting a lot more newer people because the industry is getting bigger and right. bigger how does just somebody like behave around you when let's face it this is still a business as much as you gotta be having sex with erica loren it's still business it's still business well you you know you want some you want somebody and i think this is not just from me i think you'd hear it more like from the production end of it too as far as you know everybody should show up on time like be a professional the only time in all these years I was ever late for a shoot is because the director gave me the wrong address and I had to call. I, it's like, you gotta be a pro. You have to act like that. I've always felt that, okay, it's gonna almost sound silly, but for lack of a better way to phrase it, I've always felt like, well, maybe if I'm not even like that talented, at least I'm going to show up on time. I'm going to do what they tell me. You know, I'm going to have a good attitude and get along with everybody. And, you know, that alone would make somebody want to have me back. <laughs> so that's, that's just always how I felt. And I, and I think by the same token that, you know, there's, there's, there's lots of, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel here. And there's lots of choices for somebody to get booked. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be you. You know, there's lots of other people who'd be happy to be making that money. Um, I think you have to realize that and respect that and not act like, you know, you're a diva or some demanding person. So, I mean, that's, that's the only thing because that makes, that makes it unpleasant for everybody. You know, and nobody wants to wait around. It's kind of like, you know, you have a call time, you show up, you, you do your job, you know, you're sweet, you have a good time, get it all done. And you don't want it, you don't want any drama when you're working. So that's how I feel. <laughs> so what's on the bucket list for? Ooh. The bucket list. for What's for on the bucket year? list for 20? Yeah, for 2023. Like, what are some of the things you want to accomplish this oh year? Oh, my. Well, you know, it's interesting. I think I think we all kind of took a step back when the pandemic first hit. It kind of really made you have to, you know, regroup, figure it out, that kind of thing. I think um, at that point, you know, the pivot was, since you're not going to be out there shooting on a bunch of sets, you know, um, that we got more into being at home and shooting our own content and, and doing, doing things like our only fans and our own sites and our own clips everywhere. So I think that a lot of it went, you know, went that way. And then last year, I was very hesitant to go back and work on a set for a long time because of COVID. And I was just super duper cautious. And so finally, I'm like, I just kept getting so many requests. And I kept saying, not ready yet, not ready yet. Just, you know, the whole COVID thing, just not ready. And then finally, I'm like, okay, um, I'm vaxxed. I'm like double boosted, like everything else. And so I said yes to everything. So it all came at once. So first week I went back to shooting scenes for different companies 
I actually booked six week one. And guess what? I got COVID. <laughs> I was like, great. The one thing I'm like trying to avoid. So, um, so then it took me a couple of months to get back into like actually, you know, shooting for another company. So I think that I just feel like certain aspects of my, of my career got a little bit interrupted because of that. I'm sure a lot of us feel that way. Some people weren't as hesitant as me and they, you know, they didn't really uh, stick to that. You know, they just, they, it's like, if it was available to work, they worked. Um, I didn't, I was like super cautious. So I'd have to say now that we're in 2023, I just, I think I took advantage of the time. I'm very happy with the areas of my business that I actually built up, you know, like, like my only fans, I love it. Um, I'm very happy with that, but you know, to, like you said before about like being relevant and staying relevant, that's the only people seeing that content are the people that, you know, have joined it. So it's like to just be out there and have things on the internet and have, you know, stuff you can download and really watch, you really have to shoot for these larger companies to have all those scenes out there, you know? So uh, I would say in answer to your question, that's a long explanation, I know. But in 2023, to just kind of like, you know, rewind to kind of where things were and carry on, you know, that would be good for me. I like that. <laughs> there you have it. Once again, we give you the beautiful, but gorgeous, but sexy, vivacious. I give you it is Miss Erica Loren. Uh, so Erica, before we let you go, uh, where can fans check you out at? Where is the Twitter page, Instagram, the many vids, the only oh. fans, like where can fans hit you up at? <laughs> well, if you, if you do a search, like if you're on, if you're doing a search on only fans for Erica Lauren, there I am. You'll find me. Um, as far as like my social media and stuff goes, if it's not under my name, Erica Lauren, it'll be like my Twitter and my Instagram are Erica Lauren Milf, M-I-L-F. And you can find me like that. And then of course my own website, Erica Lauren XXX.com. But most everything you'll find under, you know, many vids and Pornhub, like you name, you name it. It's just going to be my name. You'll find me easily. It's not hard. <laughs> America Loren, ladies and gentlemen, once again, always an honor, pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, we come back. We've got a lot more going on here. Only on, it's After Hours, only on the After Hours YouTube channel.